Okay, this is going to be the second part of tool paths. The last one we did was contour. This one we're going to do the pocket. Let's go back to tool paths and go down to pocket. I'm going to name this one pocket. Green check. Now we're going to click on the inside of this and OK. Okay, the, the radius that we have is 3 eighths, so the largest we can have, tool that we can have is going to be a 3 quarters of an inch. So if I grab tool, the last one I did was 3 quarters already. If it were not, we would have to go to select library tool and pick a tool. So if I go to um, cut parameters, I just want to make sure that we're on climb mill and the pocket is going to be a standard. That defaults at that. Roughing gives me options of um, what kind of path do I want. Do I want a true spiral, one way, high speed, zigzag, or whatever. I'm going to go this time with the true spiral. It seems to be a little faster. Um, I do need to go back to tools though and readjust my feed rate. I didn't do that. 30 inches a minute and we're going to plunge that at 15. And I think we went with 525 RPMs last time. Yeah, that was it. And our entry motion, well, helix kind of zigzags back and forth as it goes down. And ramp does just what it says. It moves um, two axes simultaneously, either your X and Z or your Y and your Z. And that's normally because if you would be using a, um, a four flute end mill cutter, uh, which would be a non center cutting end mill, you would have to uh, approach it in that direction. Your finishing will leave that checked. It's going to leave one pass. It's going to save 10 thousandths on the wall for a cleanup pass. Lead in, lead out, you definitely would want that off if you're down inside of a pocket. So we'll uncheck that. Depth of cuts, I'm going to take 50 thousandths of cut just like I did on the contour. And linking parameters, we're going to go half of that. Our material was 4 by 4 by 0.5 thick. We're going to go, uh, let's go th 3 eighths of an inch, negative 0.375. Blue apply, green check. Isometric view and simulate or verification. And there you have it. Now all we'd have to do is to generate code, and that would be under G1. And that does it for pocket.